in this video I will show you some of the features of um, rest client so let me start with uh, rest client uh, rest client extension of Firefox this is the rest client 2.0.3 this is the client we are using in Firefox as extension in chrome we are using i am using advanced rest client just click on that button here you can see the the panel here we use a payload here we put put the body part here url then here header okay this advanced rest client then So let me go to rest client of Firefox. Click on this button. This will open the panel. Okay. There you can see one request and URL. In this part, we need to paste the URL where the, the, our service restful service is running. Then here we can select the methods get post lot of methods are there then send if you click send it will send the request so request here now we can see a response so actually here we can see a two section response and request okay then in the response there we can see the response in different format raw then response body response body preview but one disadvantage is it not contains the json there is no option for see the response in json format in rest client extension of this is this rest client extension of firefox but if you go to this google chrome extension here we can see a lot of methods so let me select get i'm going to do the same thing here in google chrome and send but send okay so so response header response headers and request headers you can see two sections here that is header section then you can see status here status of the request yeah, that's for response what is failed or something so here you can see response in two format one is in raw so if you want to wrap you can do that say wrap thing wrap is not working here okay we can also see the response in json format this is a one of the advantage what i am seeing in chrome not com or in advanced rest client extension i think that's all available only in chrome so let me try couple of request so next we select one I will show you how to make this this, this request from this client it's a get request for list all projects send okay you can see you know, status con unauthorized 
because I will explain that later let me try the same in Chrome extension here you can also see the status 401 unauthorized request you have made required authentication title unauthorized that's because we, we need to include this exo token in the header section that's why that's why we are getting that unauthorized error so in firefox we need to and uh, we can add header like this here name of the header then the value volume is token token string value and token string and we can save this header also so we can use it later okay you can see in the header session we can see the that uh, header we add we can also edit here if you want me to make any changes let me send the request again okay now you can see the status score as 200 okay it's working so let me see the response body so here you can see the list of projects let me go to from extension advanced test client here we need here one advantage is we don't need to put in key key value here is copy paste here you can see status it's working status 200 so we can pay on the response in JSON format one advantage is we can copy paste header we just in the row panel we can just copy paste header here, here. It, it, it also uh, support key value format in this case we need to put the key and value key value I think that's the, uh, the advantage what I am seeing in uh, advanced rest client extension let me try that also key then value token token send the request 200 okay it's working so let me remove that header mm next what i'm going to do is i will show you how to make a post request to make a post request from these two extensions okay let me copy this url i am going to make a post request to this particular url this is body part we need to put it in the body first i am showing this in firefox uh, extension let me select the post method here then we need to put that body here then the JSON format then we change the part name so I am going to make a post request to that URL v3 slash projects just send this so here we can see one error 400 bad request why that's error that's because I missed one header again because if you if you are trying to send um, JSON data uh, through the request you need to specify that format in header that's what we are sending JSON so you can see that error in here expecting to find application json in the content type header so we need to specify the type of the content that is the type of the uh, body included in the request so what type of data you are sending 
through this request that's what that's what we need to specify there so we need to uh, include that header like this content type let me add this header custom header paste here and value application json that's the type of the command just save this so we can use it later actually i edited that so let me so from here we can add the previous one except click ok now you can see two headers two header in the header section one is content type one other is exo token so now it's working it's added the project 201 created that is the status so i made a uh, post request to create new project it's working so let me try the same thing in chrome extension advanced rest client let me clear this okay and type the url here url is one v3 slash projects that's url and i am going to here i need to add a header let me add first this header otherwise we will get this unauthorized header this is a token header next to token header then copy this body json body that is content json content what we are what i am going to send then select this method post in the payload list section we can space the body form there is a different format is there so i'm i haven't tried that let me select the row and paste the body here it's a content let me change the project name so i am going to create the my project 3 so let me try this send so you will get one bad request error because i missed the header json content type header so i need to put that that's why i'm getting this bad request error mm. let me copy content type header application json and paste it in the header header section so, so this is the one disadvantage so we didn't need i don't need to specify in key value how oh, it's working now so here we can see the new project which is created as response okay So let me i will show you the how to make a patch request patch method request so basically we are using this patch to update something but what i am what i seeing is in firefox i can i can see this method so that is one other disadvantage i cannot make a patch request from firefox extension but in chrome advanced client i can see this patch so also we can specify a new method new request method here there is an option for that in chrome advanced rest client extension so if you go to here, here they can request response so i will show you a couple of settings in the firefox extension load request so here what we are doing is with the request is we can save the request 
that's we can see here favorite request then settings here there is a lot of options in the settings Here you can if you want to clear the address you can clear that body we can clear we need to select all and to press the delete button if you go to advanced rest client extension of chrome So here we can separate the URL and path. So here a couple of formats are there for this body comment. So kit that I don't know what's that. Then projects. So we are here we can save the request we can create uh, that there is what that's another advantage so this actually i saved this we can create a project and we can uh, save request inside one in that project so that's we can org organize the request history or oh, whether it's another option history so we can see the history of the request so if you want to select want to make uh, this one request from here you can select if you select that will make the request again so that's a good option from the history we can make the request again send that's a good good thing send Okay, if you go to settings, there is different options that are available. If you want to clear history, we can clear that also. Mm, then okay, go to your board. Okay, go back to request if you want to save this request we can save there if you want to open from some other location you no know, save if you want to you don't have any saved request if you want to uh, open saved request they can open that if you want to save this thing you can press the, that save button okay so that's it